So, uh, last time I made a video about the Karakuri staff, and it was showcasing the, like, pretty crazy Celestial Anchor uh, stacking method and everything, and I was kind of like, eh, I'm, I'm torn, I don't know if they should really stay in, I don't... I can see it both ways, you know, it's kind of insane, but also it's kind of needed for the weapon and all that stuff. You know, this one, this one doesn't need to stay in. Um, so in the patch notes, they say they fixed an issue in which the mutation level of the Karakuri staff could be accumulated above the maximum indicated, which would be 8. However, the one thing that they did is in fact not do that, but make it more consistent in terms of how you can actually stack it over. If you just sit there and spam the actual stacking method with the Celestial Anchor, you can go, as far as I know, as high as you want with it. And then if you use the Celestial Anchor while in the air to do your Giga Blade attack, which is the Sideswipe attack, it'll start to deplete from your Ghost Stacked Weapon Gauge before actually depleting from your Visual Weapon Gauge. And you can just keep doing it for as long as you have enough stacks. This attack isn't like a small attack, it's a pretty beefy hit. It will actually do more damage than the first two hits of the Giga Blade. So if it's a move that you can just kind of spam out, specifically on bigger monsters that it's easier to hit that with, and you're able to just keep doing it, you're gonna be decimating Kimono. Or monsters, or whatever. I don't know. I still don't know exactly how to say it. But is this not... This one... Like, am I wrong? Am I wrong in thinking this one needs to be changed? I understand. There's not many staff users. And I'm, I'm sorry for making this video and exposing you all. And all of your little things that you can do to, like... Exploit or mechanic your way through the game. But, uh... This... This one needs fixed. And if you don't think it does, then you clearly don't care about game state integrity and weapon balance. You just want to be using the most overpowered weapon, which at this point is, in fact, in my belief, the Katakuri staff. But if that's all you care about, then just when that gets nerfed, go to like Clawblade or something. Clawblade's insane. But, uh, oh, I just felt like I had to, uh, show this because I originally thought the staff was, like, in a weird state of being overpowered, but, like, it being fine. Now I think it's just overpowered and it needs fixed. At least this one. The Celestial Anchor one, personally, I, I feel like it shouldn't give you two stacks with how easily you can spam it. And as far as I know, other weapons, while yes, they get more gauge using the Celestial Anchor attacks, it's not as easily spammed or cancelled. Which, I mean, I could be wrong. I could be in the minority, which is totally fine. I don't really care. I have my thoughts, you have yours, you know. Feel what you feel. But you can't sit there and tell me that being able to just throw this attack out 8, 10, 12 times before having to stack again. Realistically, I get it. It's <laughs> You're not actually going to be able to stack that much. But you can, on certain kimono, stack that much and just throw it out. And then kill it in what feels like no time at all. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, I just felt like this needed to be said and... <laughs> I don't know, it, it's interesting. Anyway, I've gotten to the end game of Wild Hearts, and 
feel like there's not really a reason to play. Not gonna lie. It there's no motivation to actually finish all the hunts. I probably still will. I might make uh build the videos. I'm not too sure. I'm a little hesitant to make build videos just because to me it feels like there isn't really much variation. I can't really make it my own. It'll probably just end up being like every other build video out there. It would just be my take on it, which would just be, I guess, armor and armor skills, which is, you know, not that in depth. But I might uh, make some videos for other games. I've been thinking about trying out Dauntless again after not playing it since the <laughs> beta of it. I might make some Monster Hunter videos, you know. There's there's a lot that I've been thinking about. And if there's anything specific that people would want to see me do, I know I only have the one video of me basically exposing Katakuri staff. And now it's going to be two. Two videos of me exposing the staff for what it really is. But if, you know, you enjoy it and you want to see more, just let me know what you want to see, and I'll make it. I'm not really picky. I still enjoy playing Wild Hearts. I just don't have any motivation to grind out the full end game of it and do all of that stuff. And I feel like that's a pretty fair response for how they've handled the end game. Like, I... I can't even fight Lahar back yet. And that just kind of feels bad. <laughs> like that that is the one thing I wanted to do. My buddy and I sat through and made a whole tier list of all of the kimono based on design and fight, and I might upload that. That kind of went on for almost an hour of just us talking about the fights, the designs, and everything. I probably will upload that. I don't expect it to do well, but it, it was fun to make and I, I enjoyed it. And I do objectively think it is one of the best tier lists out there. But, yeah. Might make some Dauntless stuff. Probably will make some Monster Hunter stuff. But, eh, we'll just see where it goes. Anyway. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I, it, it was supposed to be a short one and I ended up rambling, but... If you did, it would actually help me out a lot if you left a like, you know, said something in the comments. I would love to try to reply to every comment and kind of have discussions about this game or, you know, what has been fun for everybody. I am really curious how people continuously play. Is it just the completionist aspect? Do you just enjoy the game that much that, you know, you're able to push through the hours and hours of end game grinding on monsters that you have already fought uh countless times to make the weapons you want it's an interesting thing to me and i kind of want to see what where everyone else stands but uh yeah if you're not using katakuri staff to do all your farming you might as well start like and when they say they fix something apparently that doesn't mean they fixed it because this is very clearly ghost stacking to what feels like infinity if you have the time or want to do it. But, uh, yeah, I uh, hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video I make, whatever that's going to be. I've already said it, but again, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that fucking amazing bullshit that YouTube makes you do. And I'll uh, see you in the next one. Take it easy.